Well, Chris, given a couple of goals at Charlton in round three and another goal against Swansea in, in round four, how much are you looking forward to this weekend in Stoke? Can't wait. Um, hopefully another goal will be on the agenda. But um, more importantly, it's a tough game. It's a chance to get to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup and um, we're looking forward to it. How nice to have the challenge of another Premier League side on home soil. Yeah, it's another chance at home, uh, which if, every time we play it, would I fancy our chances massively, no matter who's it, who it's against. But um, Stoke up pose a big threat. They're a very good team, and but I believe we can get through to the quarters. Looking back at that goal against Swansea, the one that's good. Did you realise how good a goal it was in terms of them not touching the ball from the kickoff? No, up until. We watched the game back the day after in the meeting. I didn't realise at all that they hadn't touched the ball till uh, they had kick off again. I didn't even have a clue. I just, uh, I just got on the end of uh, a good move and I managed to finish it off well. And finally, the FA Cup this season as a competition, has it shown that it's still got that magic to it? You saw our result in the last round and I think later on in the day you had Bradford oh. winning, Middlesbrough winning. Has it still got a little bit of something special about Stepping it? Out. If it doesn't... If there's no love after the last round, then I think, I think we might as well just write the cup off, man. It was shock after shock, weren't it? No one would have predicted the results that happened at Bradford, at Middlesbrough, um, ourselves. And I, I can think of a few more, but it was shock after shock. If they hadn't got the love there, then there's no point in playing it.